I just want to give you a quick update. So today I went and uh, had some coffee by the river or by the ocean. Um, so I went to this place called Double Bay. I'm still here right now. It's actually one of the richest places in Sydney. Uh, all the houses around here are super expensive. You're looking at, I don't know, 10 million, 50 million dollars. It's right next to the, the river. You can see, I think you can see the Sydney Opera House from here, but it's one of the most prestigious areas um in sydney hopefully i can live here one day this is one of my dreams to live here one day i actually saw um this this advertisement uh, they're actually renting out one of the units here or one of the places here and actually i can actually afford renting here so that's good to know but to actually own a property i think that's a different story but one day i'll get there um but yeah you know i decided to come here today just to uh, have a cup of coffee uh, bring my laptop just get some sunlight, get some vitamin D, and, uh, and you know, just uh, work on my projects and my goals. Uh, as I'm sitting there, I'm listening to these people talk, and um, they're all these people that are there, they're all like, in their late 50s, 60s, and they look like they're retired or they're very established. The way they dress, they look like they're, they're worth a lot of money. I can just tell. I can just look at them and, uh, and so forth. Um, but I've overheard this conversation by this guy. Uh, he owns like he, he's got an office. He owns a business, and he's talking about all these business um, operations that he's gone through in terms of hiring people, sales. This guy looked like a real deal. Like he's he sounds like an executive. You know, he he, he he's definitely on a, on a you know he's making uh, he lives around here. He does live around here. I overheard him talk about it. But uh, this guy knows what he's doing. You know, he's definitely a business owner and so forth. And, and there was another person who was also talking as well. I overheard another person and she says, oh, wow, I, I noticed that you were having a chat about shoes. I actually own a shoe business in blah, blah, blah. You know, so everyone around here owns a business. Everyone owns a business. And that's a clue, right? I mean, if you want to get rich, own a business, right? Um, I think the slow, I think people who are working in jobs, like a nine to five job, um, I mean, it's good to, to do that to get lessons and to to survive i guess but personally i think that you need to really have a thriving business in order to get rich that's what that's the way it is you have to give it a shot you have to try it. you're gonna lose money you're gonna lose money but if you win at the game of business you get all this you get all the nice houses you get all the nice cars and so forth so what's stopping you from starting a business? You know, um, it could be finances, it could be fear. I get it. I understand that. I go through. I go through that all the time. And start a business on the side. You just start a business on the side. You know, just be safe. A ninety-five would take up a lot of your time. But if you start the business on the side and you slowly build up your clientele, then that's pretty much all you need to do. So I think that um, um, having a business really is the pathway to success. It really helps you from personal personal uh, standpoint where you you become a um, you become more stronger you become more wiser and uh, you it affects all areas of your life and obviously the money side of it too you can make a lot of money if you know what you're doing um, so obviously sales and marketing is the way to go so if you know how to sell then you can grow any business you want so I'm at a point where I know how to pick up the phone talk to someone get an appointment uh, do the sales presentation and close the deal I'm also at the point where I know how to generate leads uh, using just a few strategies. I've only got a few strategies up my, up my sleeve at the moment, but I can generate leads every single week right now. I don't have to spend that much. Most most I'm spending is just under 200 bucks a month, and I can get some good leads. Um, so I'm at that point now, so I can generate leads on demand. So that's really powerful skill to have. I can go into any business and generate leads. Uh, so that's me at the moment. So I think that... Um, yeah, so I don't know, like, if you're thinking about starting a business, just start the business. And I think that having being in business does require a lot of work, does require a lot of uh, effort, and it will take a bit of time. But I think if you invest a lot of time and energy and money into building a business, you've got a high chance of becoming more successful as opposed to someone working in a 9-to-5. Because if you look at people working in 9-to-5, Driving average cars, you know, average house, it's all average, it's all average. And you might be making a tiny bit more than the other average person and you might have a bit, bit better car, but you can never do anything else with it. You might even have two cars. You have a bit of better house than the average person, but that's all you, 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 you'll be able to do, you know, what else can you do? 
So the only way to get there is to have a successful business. Have a successful business, build it up, learn everything you can. If you lose, don't worry about it. You lose. pick up yourself and start another business, okay? So start a business, start a business, start a business. Um, and if you don't have time, do it on the side. Do it on the side, you know? Um, so I'm working on my software on the side. I'm building up my business. I'm generating the leads and I'm slowly getting there, you know? So eventually I will get there and I'll, I'll let you guys know. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about sales, marketing, business, personal finance. Let me know in the comments and I'll uh, be sure to make videos about them. So peace out, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.